Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got two teams who come in with identical records on the season. It's the Cardinals going up against the Rams. Thank you very much, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL. The National Football League is here and on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. First carry for Donnell Pumphrey. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. throw here. Looking right side and that's complete to Watkins. And they'll bring him down at the 27 yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on and I like what you just said. First quarter. Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Johnson fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Second down following the run. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Going up top. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here we go now. Three, 
He'll look to throw. Open man, the tight end, Rodgers. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. The first down carry here for Johnson. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Play action. They'll throw. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. for the first across midfield to the 48. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Let's go! Three, let's go! They'll look to throw now on first down. Cruz has it over the middle. The 20! Touchdown, Cardinals! A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. A great effort there. 76 yards. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. On the NFL scoreboard, an update from up in Seattle. And the 49ers are out to the early lead. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And his kick is good.
So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And some room to maneuver. But that return gives them a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Throwing here to start the drive. He's going to sling this deep downfield into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a great return as he takes this up just shy of the 45. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half-field responsibility. Their job is to stay as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, read the football, and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. Let's go! Green 39! Green 39! Ah! They begin the drive with Pumphrey. <laughs> and he's got Rome! And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level. That offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. They're making those linemen work with a couple blocks. They look good doing it there. Again, it's Pumphrey. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Back live now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Rams with a football to get us going. And they've got it here with a first down. And now the offense operates right, in the red zone. Lucky 56. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. They run with Pumphrey. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist... I'm probably thinking about throwing it. Back to the Here we go. Green 39. Green 39. They'll look to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. Woods, the intended receiver, and it's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So a third and nine, and six oh, defensive yeah, backs the out there in the dime. The Patrolling the passing lanes. to throw and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact incomplete so he can't hang on and as I watch that unfold I remembered an expression that I've heard maybe from you I don't know but you're going to get hit anyways might as well hold on to the ball well you know a coach said that right yeah. not an actual player not a chance at all way easier said than done and he tugged this one badly badly it's no good wide left and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. Hurry up, here we go. They begin the drive with Johnson. 
Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They'll set up to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and it's third down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Alec Ogletree coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Taking it about the 16. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Again with Pumphrey, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. So now on comes the field goal unit. And this will be a, shall we say, a rather optimistic try here. Here's Dobbs to throw. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They try the fake field goal. It doesn't work out. I am well aware that our job is to call a game objectively. But let's be honest. I was sitting here about to scream out, watch the fake, watch the fake. Look where they lined up to kick that one. Exactly. Everybody in the stadium knew. They're, they're kicking it from their own side of the field. Everyone knew they weren't going to kick it. Yeah, that one was doomed from the start. No way it succeeds except for absolutely perfect execution. That one had no chance. And he'll get it down deep into Los Angeles territory. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. Now back to throw. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Alec Ogletree in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. 
Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. They'll drop to throw. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Deep in their own territory, they look to throw. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And they're going to get this one all the way out to the 25-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Let's go. Green 39. Green 39. Back to throw now on second and 10. Completes it to the rookie from North Carolina, Ryan Switzer. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Rams on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and Detroit, one situation. They'll set up a throw. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They're going to try and throw. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, surprise, surprise, partner. No, we know it's not a surprise. When you try to complete a pass against this Cardinals defense, there's a reason that they are known as the no-fly zone. And an update now from up in Seattle. And the 49ers are out to the early lead. That one tight to this point, And you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Alec Ogletree in there to get him his second sack now in the afternoon. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 16. They'll look to throw. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Go back, guys. Go back. 
Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Back to throw now on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering where it's going to go. And the ball is knocked out. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. We have seen this before. We know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. They start on the ground with Pumphrey, and he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. 
So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we will send you eastward to Orlando and Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Larry. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. Oh, what a move. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. That'll bring up second down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And some room to run now. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They'll run here with Pumphrey. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Time running out here on the play clock. Back to throw here. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dayon Buchanan. He's got daylight. 30, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. 
I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. And the play clock's running down. He'll drop to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and it'll be third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Rams on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. Here it's third and three. Green 39. Green 39. Play clock winding down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And this is caught by Watkins. <laughs> And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. But, oh, has <laughs> that changed in a big way? The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. The guilty party, Chance Warmack, the guard out of Alabama. Breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off right around the 43. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised. But that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. Stops short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Up, 
They go to Johnson again. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. All right, here we go. Three, that deep. Looking to throw. He is going to find Hill here. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football, that's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Shift together here from the D-line. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. seven on the year and the cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six it's good and it is now 21 to 7 the punter pinion now to kick this one away And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Rams getting set to go now. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. on the play back at the 37 yard line it's a loss of a yard there and now second down and the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. to throw and this is incomplete so this is what happens when you throw interceptions that confident veneer that you have gets chipped away a little bit maybe a little bit gun shy throwing it around yeah under throwing him there and you're right those interceptions may be in the back of his mind The Rams on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and 11. Now let's go. Green. They'll look to throw. Over the middle this time to Fowler. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. 
He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. He'll set up to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Back to throw. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> 
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They have the lead. Still a one possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now. Just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off. And, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. And he'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Again, it's Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Yeah, the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Second down, Johnson. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be third and ten. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. taken down at the 34. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They've gone to the fourth up in Seattle. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Russell Wilson, two touchdown passes thus far. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. 
So for Arizona, their good start continues as they get their record up to four and two. And they will head home next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for LA, the loss here will move them back to 500 at three and three. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.